The 2-12 Eastern Eagles soared over state lines to face off against the Wahama White Falcons, who are looking to expand on their stellar 10-2 season. After playing competitive ball the last couple games, the Eagles are looking to capture their third win despite a rough season. The first quarter would be all Wahama. They used their size to their advantage, getting to the hole and crashing the boards for second chance points. Bryce Sussman would score 10 first quarter points, including this three. Falcons lead 22-9 after one. Coach Kite knew a change needed to be made, and he made it. Kite implemented a 2-2-1 press, which wasn't pretty, but it worked. He also started running his zone on defense to create a more scoring opportunities on the fast break. Once the defense stayed solid, the offense caught fire with a couple buckets from Derek Barnes. The Eagles came out of the break down two, looking to continue the strong dominance they had in that second quarter. However, that would not be the case. Wahama would continue to get to the basket with ease, going on a 33-9 run to end off the game. The White Falcons would finally figure out Eastern's tough zone they had trouble with in the second quarter on the way to a victory. The final score would be Wahama 67, Eastern 41. The White Falcons were led in scoring by Eli Rickards game high, 22 points. Although competing in the first half thanks to a zone and a press defense, the Eagles only totaled nine points the rest of the game. We caught up with Coach Kite to talk about his team's performance. Their effort was wonderful. They played hard. They did what we wanted to on defense. When we changed defenses, they didn't have any blips. The only thing, everything that they could control on the floor, they did really well. For Hardwood Heroes, I'm Ryan Finn, reminding you to be heroic.